welcome back to the KBCC garage. Kissy Boy's Krusty Cars. Hey folks. Welcome to another episode of Kissy Boy's Krusty Cars. And uh, today we're featuring my 77 or 78 Dodge Monaco. Uh, not exactly sure which year, one or the other. Anyway, uh, I did this um, from my research for my videos. Apparently I did this a year ago. I thought it was longer than that. But um, uh, every year around August, September-ish, I do you know, uh, Dodge Monaco, it seems, except for 2022, because I was in the USAC build. But uh, apparently in 20, uh, 2019, that was the first one that I did. Uh, it was the, what I call the Hunter, uh, Hunter uh, Dodge Monaco. <laughs> uh, at that time, uh, I was watching a lot of HPI guy uh, videos and he did the uh, the Monaco kit when they come back out with the, uh, actually no, it was when they did, with, did the Gotham City one. And uh, he did his as a green hunter car, like in the first episode of the show when he had the the ratty Monaco, and I did mine uh, based on a, a picture I'd seen on the internet of a, a charcoal gray one. I thought, wow, that'd be nice to have as a you know a re reimagining or reboot of of Hunter if it was a, a newer show, but still using the old car. A new film from Kissy Boys Custom Cars. Paul Walker as Sergeant Rick Hunter. Co-starring Vin Diesel as Sergeant Vincent Carbonetti. To keep one step ahead of the crime in the city, they need a vehicle. The 1977 Dodge Monaco. The iconic 70s and 80s police car that says, Do you feel lucky? Punk? Well... Do you? Uh, and then in 2020, I did uh, the California Highway Patrol car. Uh, I did that one as what, what I call it, the Hell Cop. You think, damn, but he is always there. The Hell Cop is here. And that one has a Hell Cop, sorry, Hell Cat power plant and powertrain. And I put working lights from Evan Design on there and everything. It's a pretty cool car. Uh, but they are not crusty. So this show is about, about the crusty cars. So we'll get into this one in 2021 uh, for what seems to be my, my annual Dodge Monaco build that I put myself through, which I, I enjoyed it. Uh, well, the reason that I do that every year, but I like the off kind of cars, like, Dodge Monaco, the four-door cars, which you don't see too often, but I hated with a passion the chassis that came with this in the frame under an underbelly of the steel. So I decided I was going to challenge myself and uh, make a more detailed chassis for it, which the first two cars I did, the Hunter car and the uh, the Hellcop were from the uh, AP, A AMT or MPC 71 Charger, Dodge Charger. Uh, this one um, actually, it's seen uh, on Facebook uh, builder uh, Dave Parsley. He builds all kinds of uh, fire car fire trucks, uh, police cars, emergency vehicles, and so on. He uses the uh, '68 uh, Roadrunner or the '69 uh, GTX uh, under underbody portions for it. And I decided to use it for this one, so I reached out to him and he. Like I said in my video that I made about this, I actually reached out to him and he gave me some ideas on how to get this to fit right and everything. And along the way, when I was building this, I had seen uh, that the 75 Dart Sport comes with the two uh, two figures, a driver figure and then a guy who stands up. And I saw this guy, I saw him, and decided I wanted to put him as the taxi driver. And I had to do quite a bit of shaving and and you know, shaving and massaging to get them fit in here. The front seat of this is actually not the uh, it's not the kit seat. I actually took a back seat from from the parts box for a van 
like a Dodge van. Because it was a nice flat bench seat, and I actually covered that in like a material. Well, it was covered in, in aluminum foil and then then, uh, then primered black to make it look like it has you know butts have been in this uh, a butt has been in the seat all day driving the taxi cab, and uh, I put that in there and, it, and I primed it over. So it's got all the wrinkles in the seat and everything. And I'm not sure if I covered that in my original video. And I also put the uh, newspaper in there with them. And I made my own uh, taxi meter out of a uh, police scanner. And, and I put the little uh, drop down thingy on it. Not much to say about this one. If I'll link in the description my original video on this car. Uh, when I originally did it, it was, uh, it didn't have any dirt on it or anything. I actually dirted it down after the video, put all the the mixture of, my dirt mixture of acrylic paints on the wheels and on the body. And I actually had fun with this. This was really fun. I want to do another one this year. I, I'm thinking about stepping up my game and trying to do it as a wagon, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, I might just, at the worst case scenario, I'll, I'll do another, uh, uh, just for our regular Monaco. I mean, I've got maybe two or three more. I, I buy them so that I can do one every August or September. So I can uh, participate in my own little personal build for myself. <laughs> but this this was fun. Um, it's all acrylic paint, the usual method, uh, red oxide primer, uh, and stippled on with various orange and burnt umber and so on for the, uh, for the, the underlying rushed and hairspray in certain areas to make sure the rust comes through. And, and then after I sanded it to get it to come through with the, uh, the hairspray method, uh, I took some uh, primer with a brush and just kind of stippled it over it. So it kind of looked like it had some, uh, some primer spots you know, to be fixed. Overall, nothing to really get excited about it was just it's my own thing that I do every year and I did put plates on it I put New York plates on here because uh, I figured it'd be like a cab you see in New York and it does have dual exhaust and uh, 440 under the hood cab number 682 I'll show you under the hood here before we wrap up this video and I didn't go on too much detail on it there's no wires there's not even a brake master cylinder on this but <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. I dirtied down the engine, put a little rust on it. I had fun with it, that's the bottom line. And you can see all over it, it's kind of dusty, which I feel kind of adds to the, uh, the dirtiness of it, but acrylic paint. And then uh, these decals are gopher racing, uh, taxi cab decals, and Fireball Model Works, Steelys, uh, parts box, uh, tires and I made a partition out of uh, sheet plastic and some plexiglass and this topper here I've been meaning for a long time to put the decal on it that says taxi but there's magnets in the roof so you can take this on and off and I wanted to make the the long uh, advertisement that goes on it so there's a magnet back there for when, whenever if I ever make another one it'll go back there and then there's another magnet here which holds this topper on so I got that topper from the uh, the I think it was like 90 92 90 something uh, Caprice taxi cab but that is the 77 76 yellow cab taxi uh, for another crusty car in the KC boys crusty cars lineup appreciate you folks watching commenting subscribing Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the whole series of crusty cars. There are more of them to come, believe it or not. And hopefully I'll be building more so to add to this series. So, uh, again, appreciate you guys tuning in. Hope you stay safe and enjoy the weekend. There's more to come with crusty cars and working on some other cars in the background. Uh, <laughs> you've seen the, the wagon that's coming along, but that is not crusty. So, <laughs> I right, appreciate you guys tuning in. Stay safe. Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Breaking news. The Joker steals the Batmobile. Again. 
This is the most embarrassing thing ever. Taxi. I need a ride. <laughs> Joker stole your car again, huh? <laughs> Get in, Batman. Oh, give me a break. Tell anyone I break your kneecaps. Oh, what the hell? More breaking news. Batman hails a taxi after losing the Batmobile to the Joker. Oh, this is getting way too out of hand. Looks like you parked in a no parking zone. Silly bat brain. No worries. I'll give it a fresh turtle wax before I send you the pieces. It isn't funny, Joker. Give it back now. Well, Batman, get the Batmobile back. Will I land a voiceover career? You never know. All these questions are answered in the next episode of the KBCC Garage. Kissy Boys Crusty Cars. <laughs>